You ever sold a lunch ticket? What do you mean sold a lunch ticket? Yeah, see, I mean, you don't know the struggles. I sold lunch tickets. When I went to school, elementary, they gave you lunch tickets. Whole booklet full. So you would take your lunch tickets and sell them? Yeah, government funded money for real paper. So what did you do with the paper? Go buy weed. Did you flip the weed? Nah, I smoked it. It's literally government funded nah. drug use. Taxpayers pay in the taxes, then that money gets paid to people that use it literally for fucking drugs and to support people that sell drugs. Yes. And how that circle goes? That's crazy. Hey, you gonna tell me a Rand State Department can't analyze that or put that in a data bank and figure that out and make people get fucking unlazy and go get a fucking job? I mean, come on. When you got paper money, food stamps, you go in the store when you was a kid, buy a five, five cent lollipop, they gotta give you 95 cent back in change. So you would take that dollar in food stamps, buy something for five cents, then take the 95 cents that you could spend on anything. And go give it to my mom. So you turn government funded food stamps into real currency, 95 cents at a time. That was to support my fucking mom. Um, it's a drug habit. Nowadays, it just come on a car. That really is a different type of struggle. To support your mom's dope habit? You fucking know it is. Did that happen pretty often? Was that like a really relevant thing in your life, trading in the food stamps? Oh, that shit happened for like seven, eight months. Seven, eight months straight, you're trading in the food stamp money to get change back. As soon as I got out of school, elementary, she'd drive us around. I'd go change in one every one. You'd have the food stamps? Yeah. Going to different stores, getting the money back? Right. 95 cents at a time. Slick now that I think about it, because now on a card, you really can't do that. Living in the ghetto. Police don't drive down the street. You got crackhead killers out there. I mean, it wasn't easy. It was rough. Changing new food stamp money to get 95 cents back in change to support my fucking mom's drug habit. Did that happen pretty often? Was that like a really relevant thing in your life, trading in the food stamps? Oh, that shit happened for like seven Seven, eight months. Seven, eight months straight, you're trading in the food stamp money to get change back. As soon as I got out of school, elementary, she'd drive us around. I'd go change in one every one. You'd have the food stamps, yep. going to different stores, getting the money back. Right, 95 cents at a time. Slick now that I think about it, because now on a card, you really can't do that. I'm sure there's crackheads out there that'll take their food stamps, give it to someone, that someone will give them money. Oh, yeah. With the card, even. I'm assuming that still happens. Yeah, but that's fraudulent if they find out video that you swiped that card and that wasn't the person can't use somebody else's card that's like me using your atm card but at the end of the day you go use my atm card who the fuck's gonna catch you unless i report something so if the person who's giving the crackhead the cash is down for it the person who gives you cash 150 bucks on a card that person gives you 100 bucks this person gets 50 bucks of free food you get 100 bucks of drugs Funded by the government. Neither of them tell who would catch them. Boy, you asking a lot. That's a whole lot of faith in people not telling on you. That's why you do crimes by yourself. So you don't get told on.